weekend. I, I was in Ireland at the weekend. I was in Ireland at the weekend. Oh, huge celebrations, dancing in the streets. Uh, no, not St. Patrick's Day. No, it was the cricket. Cricket. <laughs> Ireland have won at cricket. They can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, it is funny. Like, they didn't give a shit about cricket. Now they're like, oh, cricket is my heart. <laughs> My favourite bit, my favourite bit about the cricket news this week. Did you see it? Poor old England star Andrew Freddie Flintoff, uh, suspended after being caught out drinking until four in the morning. Uh, there he is. <laughs> oh. Of course, the Irish traditional uh, sport is hurling, and fully enough, that's what he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> he was out till four in the morning, then he stole a pedalo, uh, went down to sea, fell off that, and had to be rescued. Yeah. Uh, after the incident, the coach said Freddie was this close to going back to England. You thought, what, on a pedalo? <laughs> I know he's a trained athlete, but still, that's, that's some pedaling. Isn't it weird I'm kind of getting into cricket? What is that? Is that getting older? Or maybe the gay thing was a phase after all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the tits on her. <laughs> okay, I'm looking at cleavage, but I'm seeing a man's arse. <laughs> Listen, let's get some guests on. I'm not the only Jesse on the show tonight. Everyone's favorite cat, Eric the Queen. It's Jesse Wallace, ladies and gentlemen. Young Griffin! Uh, hey! Woo! Hello, Sam. Hello. Thank you. Oh, you do why not sit down? Oh! <laughs> oh, drinking at work, such a fuss. <laughs> outrageous. It is. This isn't drinking. Oh, isn't it? No, no. <laughs> God knows this didn't work. So, uh, <laughs> Because it is bad. You do get into trouble with the drinking. You do, you do. Uh, you, now, was it your... Because, actually, I have to say, reading about you, you've quite a lot of drinking stories. Yes, absolutely. I mean, being a sort of a Welsh bachelor in London for 12 years before I moved out to L.A., absolutely. Um, I was very young, of course, at the time. Of course. Um, I was uh, <laughs> 21. But in fact, I was celebrating my 21st birthday uh, on a pub on the Strand. And uh, at the end of the evening, uh, you know, charging out, as one does, with all your boys down the street, at the time, there was that film, <laughs> uh, Brave... <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. But, but not, <laughs> not the same way. Yeah. Not the same way. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, at the time, there was that film, Braveheart, out in the cinemas, oh, yeah. and, uh, and I'd seen it. And I noticed this broom sticking out of a bin. I think one of those street sweepers had left it in the bin. So I, I decided to grab the broom and went charging down the strand with this broom in hand, Shouting, freedom! <laughs> Got to this uh, lamp post. Yes. Swung the broom at the lamp post. You were drunk, weren't you? I was very yeah, drunk. Really <laughs> were drunk. Very, very drunk. Hit, hit the lamp post, and the broom head swung back, came over my shoulder, and smashed the window of the Royal Bank of Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> Evening gone wrong. That's an evening gone wrong. <laughs> so panic, you know, ran off down the strand, the boys following, and then they were pulling my leg. They were saying, there's security cameras there, your fingerprints are on the broom, so you better go back there. So off I went back, charging down the strand, picked up the broom, didn't know where to throw it, thought, I know, I'll throw it in the Thames. <laughs> So I ran onto Waterloo Bridge and threw it into the Thames. And they never caught you? They never caught But I got into the cab, we managed to flag a cab, got into the cab, and the boys were ribbing me so badly, I started to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Happy 21. Sad, <laughs> sad, such a saddo. And now you've told it on television, sort of a confession. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'm watching reverse. So <laughs> well, criminals come on television yeah, yeah. and tell their story. <laughs> Did you see me do it? Of course I <laughs> now, uh, Jesse, because uh, you, you went through a phase of getting in, into trouble for, for the drinking, but sometimes, is this true, that it wasn't you? Uh, there was a few occasions where someone was, at, well, actually impersonating me. I mean, I mean that, I'm not denying, you know, that I used to get in trouble when I had a drink, because every time I have a drink, I get in trouble. <laughs> but there was, there was a time where there, there was a few things being said that there was someone um, out dressed up as me saying things and doing things that it just wasn't me. 
I'm not denying it. It really was. I like that story. I may hire a double just to, <laughs> just to get drunk and go out and distract. Just to get away with it. Did you ever meet them? No, I didn't. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Our plan works. <laughs> Talking of doubles, I look like, is it you've been um, mistaken for somebody? Was this recently you were mistaken for somebody? Was I? Yes. <laughs> Apparently. Who? I was mistaken for John Bon Jovi, was I? <laughs> That's what I read. Uh, I, this is the first I've heard about it. Really? Graham. Yes, forgive me. Yes. Maybe John Bon Jovi was yeah. mistaken for you. For you. Maybe that's what, the, yeah, that was the case. Oh, no, because I, uh, to be honest, I didn't think you looked... Like John no, Bonzo, that I was going to say. Yeah, but I found this picture. Should we see? Here, here. Yes. Yeah, bring in the, the. Now lean back. <laughs> see? <laughs> it's, not, it's not bad. Is He's it? had a few drinks there, hasn't he? That looks more like me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't a few hairs on your chest, you're there. Can I tell them? Wisdom is fabulous. Oh, yeah. No, it's marvellous. <laughs> is that Thank you. What's going on in there? It's a basque. It's, it's all pushed up. It's fantastic. Look at Thank him. Look. Wait, I can't see these <laughs> bloody things. so close, yet so far away. There <laughs> <laughs> you go, darling. <laughs> <laughs> You're so generous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, talking of uh, drunken behaviour at work, I love this story. This week, an American Airlines pilot was accused of trying to board the cockpit of a passenger jet while he was six times <laughs> oh. over the limit. Oh. Right? Now, that was in the Daily Mail. Sounds bad, doesn't it? Yeah. Hey, check it out in the Times. Seven times over the limit. <laughs> and the Express got the really big story. Eight times over the limit. Stop drinking, man! You're making it worse! Oh, can you imagine flying a plane when you're drunk? Oh. Do you know what I mean? Pay the announcement. If you look out the left-hand side of the plane, you can see my <laughs> breakfast flying by. <laughs> now, the airline staff, this is all true. The airline staff had arranged to meet at their hotel lobby at 9 in the morning, right? So the pilot doesn't show up. So they went to his room and found him, and I quote, in a disheveled state, unsteady on his feet and smelling of drink. <laughs> right? What do you say to him? This is what they said to him. You better get a cab to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to drive in that state. <laughs> yeah. You might crash and not be able to fly the plane. <laughs> Nuts! <laughs> they're, like, they're gonna be on the plane with them. <laughs> And uh, very quickly, just a bit of motoring news. Uh, a woman driver in Leicestershire was using her satellite navigation system to get to her destination. And uh, when it told her to drive forward into a stream, she did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you kind of think, well, a stream. You know what I mean? How deep can that be? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently quite deep. <laughs> What's the sat nav saying now? <laughs> I said left, you stupid bitch. <laughs> glug, glug, yeah. glug. <laughs> now to make things worse, that in there, that is a ninety-six thousand pound Mercedes. <laughs> Imagine explaining that to your husband. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Funny story. Uh, <laughs> I think I may have flooded the engine. <laughs> And, of course, the rescuers were soaking wet as well because they'd pissed themselves laughing. <laughs> <laughs> then, can you both drive? Yes, yes just about. Yes. I'm, a bit, I'm a bit just about. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I was driving people yesterday, and, uh, <laughs> and there were two people in the car. I'm driving along, and I'm going, you know, I only learned to drive a few years ago, and in unison they went, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you good at it? Um, I'd like to think I am, yeah. I'm very careful now. I used to be quite, um, Why? like, speed happy, yeah, but now... What, did you get I'm points not... and things? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's funny the first time. Second time, I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get many of these. But uh, what's it like driving in L.A.? Because they, they, they have a reputation there. Yes, they do. I mean, they, they have... Um, this sort of system, you know, stop signs, you know, um, that you... We have that system too. <laughs> Sorry. It's been away a while. <laughs> Don't hire a car here. No, no. <laughs> no instead of um, traffic lights, you've got stop signs. So if you come to a crossroads, there's a li literally a stop, and then whoever gets there first gets to cross uh, the crossing. 
and uh, it gets a bit tedious after a while and you get a bit lazier so they've got this what they call the California roll so you drive up to it and you sort of roll a little bit and off you go if there's nobody else I did this a few too many times um, coming back from the laundrette when I was over there <laughs> but why was laundrette? I yes <laughs> <laughs> we booked you as a star <laughs> This was a cover. He's got a washing years. machine. <laughs> You're like Albert Square, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Falling Fowler with American accent. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Sorry, you're coming back to the laundry. You're going to the Hills Mansion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm sure the pool takes up too much room. <laughs> Go on. Sorry. And then, um, I really... <laughs> <laughs> the oh, this was going back a few years okay, when I first okay, went to LA. Okay, Sorry. Yeah. Right. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, I, then this car sort of pulled out after me. I was flashing his lights. I said, eventually, oh, I better stop, I better stop. And he was flashing, and he was flashing his badge. And he said he was with the, the FBI. <laughs> and that he was going to call the police unless I paid an on-the-spot fine. And you have to come back and, you know, to do a court um, sort of proceedings and everything. He said, well, I'm leaving tomorrow. He said, well, it's either a fine now or a call the police and you'll be, you, know, you won't be able to leave the country. Uh, so I got into his car with him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> with a big bag of 20 peas. <laughs> drove me to uh, a cash point in the wall. And when I was telling my American friends, I said, Johan, there's no such thing as an FBI agent pulling you over. You've been had, my friend. Yes, friends, I don't think yeah. you needed LA friends I to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so naive, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> so naive, so terrible. Uh, now, uh, you, you clever woman, no, because you, you, know, you leave EastEnders, you leave EastEnders, mm. and it's a scary thing to do, I imagine. What? Nothing. What's going on here? What's going on here? Just, on here. <laughs> just <laughs> winking at her. <laughs> yes, all right, all right, Miss Basque, work in the room. <laughs> <laughs> so you leave it, but it is scary to leave these tenders. Yeah. And and some people, that's it. Mm. We never see them again. But you've got two big things coming out. You, well, two big things. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Maybe it is a phase. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> They've always been out. <laughs> I've never seen them like this before. Really? Though. Yeah, they're having a great night. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, no, so this Friday, BBC One, yeah. uh, a, a big drama called A Class Apart. Yeah. So talk us through what it's about. It's about a, a single mum who lives on a, a council estate with an 11-year-old boy and she tries to get her into this uh, big posh school when it's just basically fighting the system to get him a good education and uh, there's a bit of um, a to-do that goes on with the headmaster and with the deputy. They make a bet that they, they can turn this um, chav into um, a public school boy. So, so it's a bit, I mean, it, there's a slightly, a slightly my fair lady. Yeah, they, they have compared it to Pygmalion, but it, that's because, you know, it's working class and, you know, there's this, this headmaster. You know, they're, they're from two completely different worlds. And it just watches how they entwine. You're filming at the moment, are you? The, the We've just finished filming Mari Lloyd, star. Yeah, because you've been all over the... Oh, hang on. <laughs> oh, <no>! <laughs> <laughs> They're very hard to get, these News of the World magazines. <laughs> <laughs> They're like gold dust. <laughs> uh, here you are, uh, running down the street with... Uh, well, I'm a lady! <laughs> <laughs> Is that a freezer bag on your head? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is it? To protect the hat. Oh, right, protect the hat. So, Mary Lloyd, she was a music all star. Yeah. Do you have to sing? Yeah. And can you sing? Well, I thought I could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can, yeah. But did you have to go to lessons and stuff? No, I didn't. Um, it's, it's getting that old fashioned type of singing, you know, like my old man said, follow the van, and the boy I love is up in the gallery. It's that really old fashioned cockney as well. What do you mean old Don't ask me to do it. Oh, no, not, I want to ask you the same. What's old fashioned cockney? Where's me washboard? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what a great year you have. Uh, that was doing a... Well, that, was, that, was, that was a terrible poor white oh. person. Yeah. Yeah. You're obsessed by clothes washing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, go in a minute, the dryer, we hear beep beep, it's all gone. Oh, that's the dryer. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, now, Sorry. when I think of you, when I think of you, I, uh, one word comes to mind, and that is hornblower. <laughs> now, uh, are we gonna, is there going to be any more? Uh, sadly not, no. The, uh, Seriously? No, the makers in, well, the, the American producers have decided that they, it's too expensive to make, sadly. So there, there aren't going to be any more hornblowers on television, sadly. Sadly. Oh. Oh. Good response, well done. <laughs> we got an email uh, mm -hmm. from a fan. Now, uh, where is it? Oh, yes, here we go. Uh, Dear Graham, mm. I'm excited to see that uh, you have Jon Griffith on the show, as I was a big fan of the Hornblower series. He continues, Did you know that Hornblower is also a euphemism for oral sex? <laughs> Thank you for telling Thank us you. that. Yes. <laughs> He's obviously delighted with his information. <laughs> And continues, although it's not as much fun as tromboning. <laughs> he continues, <laughs> i.e., licking the anus while reaching around and masturbating the penis. <laughs> Please, could I have a signed photo? <laughs> oh, dear, dear. You sincerely, Frank Caldwell. Thanks, Frank. <laughs> we appreciate all our emails. Uh, thanks for staying by. Uh, uh, listen, it's it that time to find out uh, what are you up to. I've been asking you to tell me what you get up to on Wednesday nights at 7 o'clock while we're recording the show. And uh, this week, I've had an invitation from a uh, Sophia, or Sophia, groom. Uh, she says that her friends and her, they're going to, uh, you know, pole dancing classes, like the Keep Fit pole dance classes. Yes. They're going uh, in Bromley. They'd love oh. it if you came along. So uh, we can go over to Bromley now. Uh, hello. Oh, hi. 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 Which one? Who's Sophia? Me. Hello, Sophia. Hiya. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How's it going? Yeah, really well. It's good fun. What have you learnt so far? Um, just a couple of spins and stuff. Do you want me to show you? Of course I do. <laughs> OK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fiber is staying in my wallet. <laughs> uh, who's teaching the class? Nikki. Nikki, let's see Nikki. Hello. Hello. Wow, look at her! Oh, teacher's pet. <laughs> look, oh, whoa! Oh, it's like a lesbian wet dream. <laughs> I'll just keep talking about the lesbian sort out the Sky Plus. <laughs> you ready? Okay, go. Uh, <laughs> Nikki? Yes. Nikki? Yes. So, um, talk us through that. You, you teach this. I do, yeah. I've been teaching it for about four years. Wouldn't you make more money doing it than teaching it? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I like wearing clothes. <laughs> like slot going down a window. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 uh, oh. So Nikki, 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 Nikki. How strong do you have to be? Um, quite strong. It builds your strength up really quickly because you're playing with your own body weight. So you get strong. Okay, As you can so see cheating. with these ones. Uh, <laughs> want to learn how to do uh, some basic pole dancing moves. Jesse, are you putting your no. hand up? No. All right. <laughs> Lady there, a boy there in a hat. Any more? Lady there. Should we get the man in the hat? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Man in the hat. 
Come with me. Come on. Come over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. What's your name, Phil? Zach. Sorry? Zach. Zach. Okay, turn around, Zach. Uh, can you hold his glasses? Of course. Uh, we better take your hat off as well, because that may fall. Very good. Okay. Now, these are tasteful. I'll just come nipple things. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Right nice. All right. Was it Zach? Zach. Zach. Yeah. Okay. Up you get Zach. All right, Nikki. Yes. Nikki, I've got yes. Zach here. Hi, okay. Zach. Now, uh, so something simple for Zach. Uh, I'm, I'm, oh, hello, love. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Watch carefully, watch carefully. You're gonna tip back, Zach, okay? You're gonna kick and throw your legs behind you. And tip back. <laughs> Hang on now. I'll support you. Now, so, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Nikki, talk okay. through it again. Listen, Zach, listen carefully. Go to the side of the pole. You need to step to the side, because if you step in front, you're gonna hurt yourself. <laughs> to the side. Okay? So you kick off with the outside leg. Step on the inside leg, kick off with the outside, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well done, Zach! <laughs> You've seen some in your time, haven't you? <laughs> Thank you, Nikki and Sophia! Well done, Zach! Excellent work! Off you go! Oh, your hat! Your hat, Zach! Nice one, mate. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> All that, and then you need to build up. Out again. Oh! It was good! No, no, you keep the tassels, though. <laughs> They'll get you admiring glasses on the tube on the way home. <laughs> that was very impressive. Was, uh, Wasn't it? Well, there's recipes for disaster, I don't know. Yeah. 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 Because it looks really hard, but if Zach could do it... <laughs> how would it be? It'll be all the rage. Uh, now, how to follow that... Oh, we chat about your new film. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, Amazing yes, Grace. Yeah. Amazing Grace. It's out this... This Friday night. This Friday night. You, now, you had the premiere when? This week? Uh, Monday night, yes. Monday night. It was a very glamorous and exciting. It was very glamorous. Do you like those things? I do, actually. I mean, it, you get a bit nervous when you're leading up to it, you know, getting ready and getting you know, dressed up and making sure your clothes are dry from the laundry. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I need them by six o'clock. Yes. Come on. <laughs> yeah. I'm smashing out in a service yeah. wash. Come on. <laughs> 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 but, um, the, the film... It's quite a serious subject. It's about yes. the abolition of slavery. Exactly. It's about uh, uh, William Wilberforce, who abolished the slave trade in the British Parliament in 1807. And, of course, it's the, the 200th anniversary of the passing of that bill in Parliament uh, this weekend. So it, that's why we're coinciding it with, with those celebrations. And he was genuinely, like you always imagine, they're old, but he was mm. genuinely a young, a young politician. Yes, this, this was the, the beauty of the story, that these, uh, William Pitt the Younger was the, the youngest ever Prime Minister of Britain at 24. And uh, William Wilberforce entered Parliament at 21. So these were young men wanting to change the world at a very young age. Goodness knows what I was thinking about when I was 21. You know well, what they we know. <laughs> you, were, you were doing Braveheart on the Strand. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. How embarrassing. But yeah. so we've got a clip. This is you uh, in Parliament. Um, I don't think it needs any no, more, I don't think any, any, any more, no, any more no, setting up. No. Uh, here we go. Here's a clip. It is very good. Thank you. Now, I'm a little shallow, but I must ask, why did you get the good wig? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else looks like crap, and you're like, I look rather well, good, don't I? Huh? I'm the star of the film. <laughs> exactly that. that, that <laughs> was just, that was well, yes, well, we were presenting ourselves as, you know, the younger men in, in Parliament. So, so that, that was, was trendy? Yeah. Well, that was uh, meant to be my own hair, not a wig at all. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look good. Thank you. Uh, Thank you.